Hi, and welcome to part one of automating groups in Active Directory with PowerShell. So in the last few videos, we've gone over how to manage your Active Directory. And in a previous series, we've found out how to automate our users. So what we're actually gonna be doing in this series is actually gonna be automating the groups. So we are gonna be inserting our users uh, into those groups and removing them from those groups if they no longer belong. Uh, this is going to be kind of tied up with the automation of the users. So what we're going to need for this tutorial series, so this video, I'm just going to go over all the different um, setup procedures, and we're probably going to do a little bit of the XML file. Um, but first, we are just going to want to download the PowerShell script from GitHub for automating users or follow that tutorial series. I'll be putting a link to the tutorial series on how to make that script and the GitHub below. The GitHub also has the CSV file of the employees. So what we actually have is this here. So what I've gone ahead and done is on my server here, I've created a folder called scripts. I've created another folder called automate AD. And then in here, I have automate groups, which is empty right now. This is where we're gonna be creating all of our automation for the groups. I have the employees CSV file, which comes from the GitHub page. And then I have the automate users folder, which I've stuck the PowerShell script in here. So let's just go over how to set this up if you haven't um, used this script yet. So if we just right click on it and hit edit, we have this file. At the bottom of the file completely, we actually have what we need. So we have our CSV file path. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill this in with our CSV file path. So for me, it'll be C, scripts, automate AD, and employees.csv. The delimiter for our file is a comma if you're using the file that I provide. If you use your own file, just make sure to use the right delimiter. Our domain for us is jack.ca. If you named your domain slightly different, it'll be different. Uh, my unique ID will be employee ID. And then I want the OUs to be based on the office. Uh, so this will be like the geographical location of the office, like New York, um, Dubai, Vancouver, and I think Toronto is the other one that I have in that file. Um, and then this last parameter is just how long we want to keep the accounts disabled for, which we just leave it at the default of seven. Um, so this will work. Now, the only thing, you can't just run this file just like that. It does, however, require at least one user in your Active Directory with the employee ID field filled out. Um, so all we're going to do is we're just going to create a user here real fast. We're just gonna do test user and we're just gonna do test user two. And then we're just gonna give it a password. It doesn't really matter um, what it is um, because this user is going to be deactivated anyways. So once we have finished there, we're just gonna double click on it, come into the attribute editor here and we're gonna scroll down to the employee ID field. Just set that to a one, hit apply, and we are good to go. So all we need to do is run the script here. It's gonna go ahead and create everything that we need. So if we go in here, we can see that before we had just a very, very standard Active Directory. So if I just refresh here, we actually have our OUs created for Vancouver, Toronto, New York, and Dubai. All of our users are also created. And if I go down here, we get our test user, which is deactivated. We could go ahead and we could just delete him for now. All right, so now that we have all of our users set up, our OUs set up, we have everything that's ready for our next automation of groups here. What I would like to do also eventually um, just because that is a little bit annoying that you need at least one user with a employee ID, I will eventually um, write this script to where it will not require a user um, in Active Directory. I just haven't done that yet, but it, that is a planned update for me. 
Um, so once I do get around to doing that, I will actually upload the video on how to do that as well as an additional to the tutorial series. So now that we have all that set up, all we're just going to do is we're just going to save that. So you can always come back and run the script again if you add users or remove users to that file or change them. So we can just close out of that here. And now we have everything that we need. So if we actually take a look at the employee's CSV file, we can actually see that we have employee ID, first name, last name, title, department, and office. So what I like to typically do is I like to typically base the groups on title. You could use a department, definitely. I think that I will actually do title and department in this video. Um, kind of do both um, in this series. I still a little bit debating on doing department, but for sure title. So basically how it'll work, it'll go and check the groups in the XML file, check to make sure that the groups exist in Active Directory, and then load in the appropriate titles that belong to that group. So kind of what that would look like is if I actually just open up another notepad here. So what that'll look like, it'll look like the first step is load in XML. The second step will be um, look up group. Uh, so this will be actually a loop. So loop will be here. Um, and then in that loop will be, so it'll look up the group, create group if it doesn't exist, and then add and remove anyone um, as needed from group based on title. So that's pretty much it on what it's going to do. Um, and that loop is going to loop through every single group um, in that XML file. So I'm going to show you guys how to lay out an XML file, how to build that out from scratch. Um, and then we're going to look at that script as well. So I think that we are going to create the XML file in this video. So let's go ahead and let's get started on creating that XML file. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to go ahead and we are going to want to open up Notepad or Notepad++, whichever one you want. On this machine, I only have Notepad, so that is what I'm going to be using. Um, so let me just go ahead and start writing out this XML file. So um, let me just make sure you guys can actually see what I'm actually typing here. Yes, OK, perfect. All right, so what we're going to want to do is start our XML file. So first, I'm just going to save this file. We're going to do all files. And we're going to save this as groups.xml. And we're just going to save this in the root of our automate AD. And then we are going to start creating this file. So what we're first going to have to do is an open um, like an open bracket, like an HTML type of bracket. Um, and then we're going to do a question mark and then XML space version equals quotation 1.0 quotation question mark and then the close bracket. So this will tell the system that it is an XML file, a version one with the default character set, which is actually a default character set of UTF-8. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is this is very similar to HTML. So we're going to have opening tags and closing tags. And a tag is this. So this would be a data tag. And then this would be my closing data tag. So the slash is the closing tag. And then this first one is the opening tag. And it's very important that in, H, um, in HTML, it doesn't matter, but in XML, it really does matter. So it is case sensitive in XML. So if we did this, it would actually not work. These would actually be different tags. They would not line up properly. And a very easy way to kind of see um, if you've done it properly is actually just by doing this. So, so if we do this here, 
we can see actually if we go into our C and we go in here and we just double click on it, we open it with Internet Explorer, we can actually see the XML and we can actually see that we can collapse and expand that field there. So that is perfect. So let's just close out of that. And let's just reopen that with Notepad. So what we are going to want to do is I like to name my root element data. So we're going to keep that data. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a group tag, which is going to represent one of our groups. And then in here, we're going to have a name tag. And then in here, we are also going to have a titles tag. All right. So what this is going to do, so this data is going to be our root element. And then for, we're going to have multiple group tags. So each group is going to represent a group in Active Directory. The name is going to represent the name of that group in Active Directory. And then the titles will contain the title or the titles that actually belong in that group. So the titles would be the position. So that would be if we look at our employee file, it would be like the junior developer, senior developer, help desk technician. That is what we are going to be looking at for now. And then we might step into the different departments. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to set up a very simple one here um, based on our file. So we're going to set up two different uh, groups. Um, and then we can expand on that a little bit later. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one for um, uh, development. So we're going to have our junior developer and our senior developer and our UX designer in there. And then we're going to have one for our management, which is going to be our project manager and our CEO. So that is going to be that there. And I'm going to be calling... Um, so I'm actually going to make one called programmer and we're just going to call that senior and junior developers. So let's create a group called programmers here. And then in titles, we're going to create again, two more tags. And each one is going to be called title, which is going to represent each title that we want. All right, so then we're just going to put in the titles here. So we're going to put in our junior developer and our senior developer here. So that should be fine. And then what we're just going to do is we're actually going to copy paste this and we're just going to paste it down here. And we're going to change this one to management. That's the nice thing about these types of um, like automation with XML files, you could just copy these groups and then just kind of like fill them in with the data that you need. So for management, we're going to have CEO. And then we are going to have our project manager. All right, so that is it. So this is going to be our XML file that we are working with. Let me just open this up a little bit bigger for you guys so you guys can see the entire thing. So this is going to be our XML file that we are working with now. Uh, so just to go over everything before we end off this video, and in the next video, we're actually going to start with our PowerShell script. We are going to import that XML file and start creating our loop. Uh, it'll probably be a, a multi-part series, definitely at least. Uh, two parts, obviously, it'll probably be more like in the three to four part range. Um, and then I'll be posting the code to GitHub once the last video is uploaded. So what we have here is we have our parent uh, node, our parent tag, which is data. And then in there, we have our group tags, which represent each a unique group in there. And then within the group, we have our name tag, which represents the name of the group. And then within the group tag, we also have a titles tag, which contain a title child, 
which will contain the name of the title that um, gets added into the group. So anyone that does not have that title will be removed. That is pretty much it for this video. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see any other type of rules for group management and automation of group management down in the comments below. Um, and then I will try to incorporate as many of those as possible. So I will see you on the next video. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. See you on the next video.